Welcome to lesson 153 of EFT Tapping with the Course in Miracles workbook. You can watch lesson one for the full breakdown of what all this is. So lesson 153, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. Let's go to the side of the hand, repeating after me. Even though I currently perceive that I need to defend myself, I choose to honor and accept myself and I open up my mind to today's lesson. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. Even though everything about this world seems to teach me that in order to feel or be safe, I need to constantly defend, maybe even attack. I choose to have compassion for myself and to sincerely explore today's idea. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. And even though I may currently believe that there are threats all around me to my health, to my safety, that I need to defend and prepare, I choose to honor and accept myself and to open my mind to this lesson in my defenselessness, my safety lies. Okay, through the points now. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. You who feel threatened by this changing world. The world provides no safety. It's rooted in attack. and all of its so-called gifts of seeming safety are illusory deceptions. The world gives rise to defensiveness. Threats bring anger. And anger make attacks seem reasonable. in the name of self-defense. Yet defensiveness is a double threat, for it attests to weakness. And I choose to recognize the weakness and confusion in my mind and open it to healing. Attack and defense, defense and attack become the circle of hours and days that bind the mind. Defenses are the costliest of all prices which the ego would exact. You have no idea all the devastation it has wrought. You are its slave. You do not understand how much you have been made to sacrifice. You who feel its iron grip upon your heart. You behold the Son of God as a victim to attack. helpless in their presence, the presence of dreams and illusions, needing defense by still more dreams and illusions, allowing myself to recognize this cycle more and more. 
I choose to open up to this idea. Defenselessness is strength. It testifies to recognition of the Christ in you. It recognizes strength so great that attack is folly or a silly game. I choose not to play such childish games today. To not exchange foolishness for endless joy. Endless joy our function offers us. We look past dreams today. Recognize we need no defense because we are created unassailable. And I choose to open up to this next statement. Now we cannot fear, for we have left all fearful thoughts behind. In defenselessness we stand serene and secure. I choose to be still a moment and in silence think how holy is your purpose, how secure you rest, untouchable within the light. It's a function of God's ministers to help their brothers choose as they have done. You will not see the light until you offer it to all your brothers. As they take it from your hands, so will you recognize it as your own. I choose to give and receive this today. Now the quiet time has come where we put away the toys of guilt and childish thoughts of sin. Today we practice a form we will maintain for quite a while. I choose to begin each day by giving my attention to the daily thought as long as possible. Five minutes becomes the least. Ten would be better, fifteen better still. As distraction ceases to arise, we will find that half an hour is too short a time to spend with God. Nor will we willingly give less at night. And I release any resistance to these time frames, allowing this process to unfold beautifully. Each hour adds to our increasing peace. At times, perhaps a minute or less will be the most we can give on the hour. Sometimes we will forget or be busy. I choose to forgive myself when this happens and return to the goal. When we can, we will observe our trust as ministers of God in hourly remembrance of our mission. In time, with practice, you will never cease to think of him and hear his loving voice. 
each time we feel a threat today. I will call upon his strength and pause a moment. As he tells us, I am here. I choose for my practicing now to begin to take the earnestness of love, to help keep your mind from wandering from its intent. Be not afraid nor timid. There can be no doubt you will reach your final goal. Okay, take a breath. Mm, yeah, a lot in that, you know, the, the establishing of a new style of practicing and the sort of depth of these lessons, like I said, they're more dense. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Hope these are, these are still valuable to you. Do let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing you on lesson 154 next. Okay, take care.